Hello everybody, welcome to a day in my life working remotely here in New Zealand. This is actually my last day in New Zealand for a good long while, which is very sad, but I have been here for a while. It's been nice to spend so much time with my family and I hope you all enjoyed the last vlog, seeing, um, yeah, just a little bit of what I was getting up to when I was in Wellington at my sister's house in my parents' place right now. They live in Mount Monganui and it's a beautiful little peninsula town um, with a beach on either side. This week has been a weird one for work because it's actually a retreat week at ConvertKit. We do these twice a year, um, sort of every six months to connect as a company. This time has been a little strange though because we have half of the company meeting in person in Mexico and then half of us are retreating virtually because we did not feel safe to travel. I don't know why I'm giving a thumbs up for that because I don't think that's a cool thing <laughs> to, to be feeling that way. But hey, here we are. So I started my day with a trivia night, trivia morning for me, um, hosted by one of my team members. My team came second but I'm a little disappointed in us and myself in particular because there was two F1 questions and we got both of them wrong somehow. Anyway, fun way to start the day. Just had a chat with my manager as well because this is his last week at the company, which is very sad, but yeah, just um, got some like last words of advice from him, I guess. Now, what am I gonna do now? Um, there is like some actual work stuff that I need to fit in around some calls today. Um, so I think I'll get on to doing a little bit of that and then I'm going to be a guest on someone's podcast, so that'll be fun. Oh yeah, I realized that in the last vlog I like didn't mention that I got a little tattoo of the Line of Note Kids logo. I haven't uploaded that vlog yet at the time that I'm filming this, so I don't know if anyone actually noticed it, but yeah, um, I'll leave a link in the description. You can check out the story of this t-shirt business that I started while I was in university and ran for like... 10 years and this is just now a little memory of it on my wrist which is cool. Anyway that was an aside let's get on with the day I guess. <laughs> Well, that was a complete and utter fail because, um, yeah, the internet did not enjoy using Riverside. It's a platform for recording a podcast where, like, you use it in the browser and it records each person's side separately and, like, uploads it as you record. So it's great. It's very useful. I use it for inside marketing design. But, yeah, it needs a lot of internet juice. Let's just say that. And we didn't have enough to make it worthwhile. So I'm going to reschedule and do that next week instead. Which means that um, now I have a longer gap in between meetings, which I desperately need to do some work. So um, I guess I'm going to dive into that. But part of me also wants to go and get a coffee. Mm. Yeah, screw it. Let's go out and get a coffee. Um, and we're going to go out and get some lunch later as well. But um, coffee in the meantime. Let's go. I saw this advertised on that sign outside the other day and was like, yeah, that, that, that is something I need to try. It smells like pretty citrusy. Mmm. That's nice. It's definitely not as like coffee flavored as I was expecting. It's like You know when you have coffee flavored chocolate or ice cream and you're like, yeah, this tastes like coffee, but it's not coffee. That's what kind of what this is tasting like. It's like sweet, lightly coffee flavored. It says it's got Manuka honey and Mandarin. Um, I'm a fan. Now that I've got my coffee procrastination out of the way, I will actually get on with work for the next half hour until my next meeting. Just recorded podcasts with Femme and they went much better because we just record over Zoom and like record locally and then upload the files. So the internet did not struggle. Now I'm going to go get myself some lunch. What happens during a ConvertKit retreat is, uh, the virtual ones anyway, we get what we like to call internally retreat bucks, which is a budget that we can spend on food and drinks for the week. We can spend it however we like. It's just like, it's 
for that time period of the retreat. So that's really nice, makes it a little more special because I don't know, you're more likely to go eat out and buy something nice for yourself, buy a nice bottle of wine or whatever, if you know that it's on the company. <laughs> Yesterday I bought lunch for me and dad and I also bought some uh, bottle of wine for me and mum to share together because I'm staying with them. And today I'm going to go to a bakery and I'm gonna get myself a New Zealand sausage roll and like some other bakery treats that are very typically New Zealand and um, it's gonna be like a good way to end my last day here. So let's go do that. Also, I don't mean end the day, I mean end the trip, whatever, you get me. At the moment, the COVID restrictions in New Zealand are that you have to wear a mask going anywhere. Um, you also have to use the COVID tracer app to check in with a QR code at any like shop or restaurant or I don't know, whatever that you go into. Um, and you also have to have a vaccine pass to be able to eat in at a restaurant as well. Um, and into some sort of like shops or like service places like the hairdresser. For example, I don't know, I just felt like people might be interested in how New Zealand is coping with things at the moment, so that is where we're at. That is a good kiwi lunch. <laughs> Now that lunch has been eaten and the calls are all out of the way for the day, I really need to get into the actual work that I need to do. We, Convoke it, I mean, are conducting research into the creators behind the creator economy. Um, and we're doing this big research survey asking creators a lot of details about their business, their motivations, their goals, their struggles, their revenue the way they use social media, the way they use email, these sorts of things. And we're gonna produce a report on it, which I'm very excited about, because um, this is exactly the kind of like nerdy data stuff that I love digging into. And I'm also very excited to do this report about the creator economy from the creator's perspective, because I feel like, I don't know, that term and this whole industry is being co-opted by big VCs and like big tech companies. There's a lot of investments flowing into it at the moment, but the creators are the focus, right? Like creators are what is behind the creator economy. And so this project is putting the focus on them and yeah, sharing what it's like for them and how they're doing. We're just trying to like get a pulse of the general state of where creators are at. So I need to finish putting together the type form. It is very complex with lots of like, if they answer this, do this instead and all of that. Um, and probably it's not the type of project that I should be doing myself as creative director, but it's kind of like, one of those things when you're at a smaller tech company, um, you get a bit scrappy sometimes and we don't have anyone else on the team whose job it is to do this. So I'm doing it because I want it to happen. If you are a creator yourself, please do me a favor and fill out the survey. It is linked down below. Um, if you're not a creator, then please don't fill it in. We only specifically want to hear from creators, people who are building an audience, making things online, that sort of stuff, um, and share it with your creator friends as well. So. If you are a creator, fill it out, also share it. If you're not a creator, share it because maybe you have creator friends who could fill it out. I would really appreciate that. We want to get like as many responses as possible to make this as detailed as possible and make the information as useful as possible. So please, please do that link in description. for a swim after work <laughs> it's low tide so we had to walk out a long way but that's the mount there in the background it's cold <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing for dinner dad fish and chips on the beach <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> 
Well, I mostly just spent my evening packing, but I am all packed up now, ready to go. The suitcase is weighing 25 kilos, so that is under the 30 kilo limit that Emirates has, which is good, because I honestly don't think that I could fit anything more in it. It is, it is very full. <laughs> but yeah, this concludes the vlog of my last day working remotely from New Zealand. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed just seeing like um, a day in my life when I'm with family, when I'm like, I don't know, it wasn't really a solid work day, was it? But I don't know, you got to see what I got up to on this virtual retreat that Convert Kit did. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.